Hello guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Recently, we were building some leave management application in that I got a task to find the SharePoint list items by using Power Automate. So in this video tutorial, I wanted to show you how to find the SharePoint list items using Power Automate. So let me show you about this uh, topic. In this topic, I'm going to explain you the below examples which I have displayed here. The first example is finding and updating a single item in the SharePoint list and second example is finding a specific item from the SharePoint list based on the value of the another SharePoint list and the third example will be retrieving multiple items from your SharePoint list. These are the three examples I was going to show you. So uh, let's go back to the Power Automate homepage. If you have already logged in with your Microsoft credentials, if you log in make.powerautomate.com, then it will automatically navigate to the Power Automate homepage. Let me introduce myself. I'm Chandrika. I'm a Power Platform Consultant working in RTS Info Technologies. If you need any requirements or any Power Platform solutions, you can contact us so that we can provide the solutions based on your requirement. Power Automate homepage has been opened. Let's create the flow here. Let me create the automated flow for the first example that is finding and updating the single item from a SharePoint list. So I will show you the requirement here. I was taking two SharePoint list. One is uh, leave request and another one is leave balance uh, list. Whenever a requester raised a leave request here in the leave request list, then the sick leaves and annual leaves will be detected from the leave balance list. Accordingly, let me create an automated cloud flow and select here when an item is created. Click on create. Select the site address and list name. The item should be created in the leave request list. So I will be selecting leave request and I wanted to get the items from leave balance list. So get items action we should need to take take get items action here also select the site address as well as the list name the list name will be leave balance here now we need to define the condition where it should match the requester name is equals to the employee name in the leave balance list so take the condition taking condition control in the value select requester email is equals to employee email employee name email if this condition matches then it should have to update the item in leave balance update item action take site address List name will be leave balance. Sorry, leave balance and take the ID, ID from the get items. Here, the sick leaves and annual leaves by default will be 10 and 3. We have to provide the function here to update the leaves, sick leaves, and as well as annual leaves. I will be subtracting the leave days from the sick leaves take sub function and uh, int from the dynamic content search for the sick leaves comma int sick leaves click on add same for the annual leaves function
the functions has been added in sick leaves as well as in annual leaves if the flow and click on test let's test it manually so here i was adding one user miriam and leave days this is two days sick leaves will be two days and the annual leaves will be zero click on exit the grid view now you can see the flow ran successfully and with the out of five items it has updated only one item that is miriam graham and when we check on the leave balance miriam graham will be updated to eight and the annual leaves miriam graham sick leaves will be updated to eight and annual leaves is not detected this is how to find a sharepoint list item a single sharepoint list item and update it by using the power automate i wanted to show you one more thing that is uh, this is employee satisfaction survey power apps app this is the uh, power platform solution recently our team has built this uh, power platform solution it is a combination of power apps power automate and powershell script with the three apps we have built this solution you can download the complete solution from here from the spguides.com i will also provide the link in the youtube description if you are in need of this employee satisfaction survey power apps app you can go and download the complete solution i will also provide this link in the description box in this you will be getting the uh, these all the screens new screen new survey screen my service all service and this will all service admin dashboard admin settings hr dashboard will be for the hr and new survey and my service will be for the user where a user can create a new survey and uh, my service will be then all the surveys submitted by him will be displayed in my service so you can see the detailed description of this uh, application you can get the detailed description of this employee satisfaction surveys app uh, here in this page you can also check out for the survey details and you can also request a demo uh, for this app this we are providing with a reasonable cost please go and check out this page if you are in need of this app then go and uh, download the complete solution so so let's be back to our example uh, our second example will be find and specific item from a sharepoint list based on a value in a another sharepoint list for this example i do have taken two list that is project list as well as task list as you can see here uh, this is the project list with the project title project id start date due date and the project task assigned to in the task list i have taken project title as a lookup column and the task title will be text one start date due date and assigned to my condition here will be whenever and something is changed or modified the item in the project list then it should have to update in the task list as well as well as i was going to uh, update the project task as a task title start date and due date i will be updating these three columns so whenever the project title matches in the task list it should have to update the project task as well as start date as well as due date this is our requirement i have already built power automate flow let me explain you the flow first creating the new flow will be the time consuming so i will explain you the flow that i have already built i have already uh, created uh, this is the trigger when an item is created or modified so whenever an item is modified in the project list then in the task list it will be updated based on the project title so i have taken here site address and the list name same as well i was getting the items from project list site give the site address list name here and as same from the task list site address and the list name the main point here will be the condition in the condition i have taken whenever the project title is matches the project title in the task list then it should have to update the task list start date and due date so i have taken here the title uh, it will be from the 
project list because in the project list i have taken this as a title column so i have taken here the title from the project list is equals to the project title value from the task list whenever this condition meets in the true condition i was updating the item as task in the title i have taken project test start date as well as the due date let's save the flow and test it i will manually trigger this flow by creating an item in the project list or modifying an item in the project list so click on test test the flow manually click on test let's go to the project list and click on edit in grid view in the project list i was editing the project task for the create leave management item and i was editing this start date to 3rd march and 5th march so this is our uh, item and exit the item here click on exit in grid view after that let's go back to our flow now you can see the flow is running and it ran successfully by updating the item here for the rest of the items it has not been updated only for the one item it has updated the value now let's go back to the task list as you can see here the item has been updated with the task title start date and end date the below two items haven't updated because it doesn't match the power project title in the task list this is how to find a specific item from the sharepoint list and update it based on the value from the another list let so let's complete our third example that is how to find the multiple items from the sharepoint list here i will explain the requirement for the third example that is how to find a multiple items from the sharepoint list here i have taken the task list with the task title as a title column due date and the assigned to date assigned to in this task list i wanted to find out the items where due date will be less than today so let's go to the flow i have already created the flow i will explain the flow here and i have taken the manually trigger flow because i wanted to find out the items and i want to view the items instantly manually so i have taken manually trigger a flow and uh, the get items these get items will fetch the items from the task list will fetch the all items from the task list i have uh, used the filter query here where the due date less than or equals to today i have i will show you how to give this uh, due date less than or equals to today in the get items take site address and the list name in the filter query give the condition where we need to fetch the items based on that filter query condition so let's go back to the list here i will take the internal name of the due date take the due date which is next to the sort field is equals to copy the due date and come back to the filter query paste it space le le means less than or equals to within the quotes i will be given the condition that is utc now which will take today's date after that close the quote this is the condition we have provided in the filter query and create html table in the create html table we need to take the body or values from the get items this is the body or value we should have to match the header column and the value column header will be the task title due date will be the due date in the compose i have taken the function which will retrieve the number of days the task will be overdue i will also provide this function in the task video description so that you can check out after that i will be taking send an email action in the two parameter take assigned to email subject give the subject and the output from the compose overdues because it will retrieve the number of days that task has been overdue fill out the body part after that the overdue task here i have taken it from the create html table as a output save the flow 
and let's test it manually let's see how it will retrieve the items test it click on test and test it manually click on test click on run flow click on done the flow is running it has ran successfully so let's open the assigned to mail i have given the mail here as my mail that is party account let's open the party account outlook now the flow has been triggered and uh, you can see the task overdues here the cust uh, these are the overdue dates the multiple items that we have matched the condition this is how to find multiple items from the sharp point list by using the power automate flow thanks for watching for more updates like share and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you